Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Two days back, I uploaded a photo in my Facebook account, which was based on Avengers Endgame 3D perspective things inside of Photoshop, and I was upload that same thing in Facebook. Today, I'll show that same thing in front of you guys. So you have to watch this video completely because end of this video, I have one special announcement. For you guys so stay tuned and as i always say let's get started so before starting this tutorial you have to learn about what is depth map so guys make sure you have to concentrate about depth map you have to know what is depth map is how exactly that will work so the depth map is kind of a black and white kind of thing so if you have to avoid the pure black I mean it's a solid black or solid white for this kind of depth thing so this thing is particularly based on depth map that how you create your depth map uh, how much you good on your depth map your output will come so good okay so let's talk about like depth map how exactly work so think like this picture is in very front of you so this will be like white kind of thing and this will like back of this so it will become a little more darker this one little back so it will more darker so it like this the more things are going back it got more the more darker shades will come so that is the called darker parts of this uh, depth map so let's jump to Photoshop and I'll show you how exactly you can make that same thing. So we are in my system and as you guys can see this photo already I made and you already saw this in my Facebook account. Those guys still not watched go to my Facebook account like comment and share. Okay so now you can see it's a main object main folder uh, sorry group is there over this group I just make it a little bigger you guys can understand then. See actually what I did this is a background then we have few layers over there like one two like this so this is kind of a matte painting what I did so basic idea is I have to th make this kind of thing in a separate separate layer see we, I have I have one two three four five six instead ten layers okay so the next thing is I have to make these photos depth layer so let's jump okay so now what you have to do you have to make a new layer like this and first of all we have to make a BG depth map so just avoid pure black as I said before so just go to this brush or sorry just go to this palette this is, this is a full black so just go little up see like this then press ok and then print alt and backspace to fill this say now it's completely filled up now turn off you can make it like rename it like BG for better purpose understand now turn it off now open this main layer now go to like select this first one control then select to this thumbnail now you can see the selection is coming here so now make a new layer uh, above this layer like this and you have to make a new color from here slightly like this I take a new color and press alt and backspace again so now you can see I have filled this thing with the new color now see this character and this Captain Marvel character which is in same depth so I have to make this character in the same color so just control D for deselect and now go to this Captain Marvel layer control press then click now see the selection is come now select this layer and press alt and backspace now see these two layers are completely filled with this color now next thing you have to do <coughs> just go down to this next layer next layer is like visions characters layer now select this in the same way by pressing control and then select it will come like this now you have to take a new layer slightly like this and then take a new color from your color palette which is like this little go up now press ok and then press alt and backspace now see those colors are different so it means this thing is far this is little far from this object so we have a few gap with these two objects so now this character and this Hawkeye characters are both in same depth so I have to make this thing like control press C and slightly select this layer and alt and backspace so in this way you have to do all these things and make sure after complete these things uh, it's uh, look like like complete depth map so when it will complete I'll get back to you okay so now you can see 
that our depth map is completely done and you can see our Avengers logo, the Iron Man characters all are in a good depth. Now you can see if you zoom it, you can see those edges are very sharp. So this will make a lot of difference when you upload your photo in Facebook. So now what I have to do, you have to make some glow over these objects. So just open this depth option and select this Iron Man character and go to FX and you have to press like uh, where is outer glow. So not very very much like select this from white color, not full white, slightly like this. And just you have to slightly like uh, 2, 2 pixel or like 5 pixel is good. And then press OK. Now see, you can see there is a glow over there which is a good thing for making this kind of photo. Now press Ctrl minus to zoom it back. The same thing you have to do to others these characters. Now press right click, then copy layer style, then select this two and this and this and this one. Then right click, then paste layer style. So now all those characters have different different depth map. Now see, these characters like Hawkeye and this option characters, those have that glow which is not like their characters colors which is little whitish because those characters uh, colors are filled in little darker shade of black double click on use this glow and just make it little darker or the same color what they have so just press ok so now it's fine now control 0 to fit the screen now we are all set to go so what do you have to do oh, okay now i just found this this hulk is in the same problem so just double click on this glow and put this color same color what they have now press ok it's fine ok so now turn off this ok now what you have to do you have to export those two folders separate separate in a you can use like png or you can use a jpeg so let's export let's jump in ok so first of all turn off this one and you have to like file export export as and now you have to export this in a like JPEG or PNG as I said before. So I leave it like PNG or you can use JPEG, GIF file, SPJ. If you use GIF file, you can show that in animation. And then you have to export this to export all. So let's export all and select your like I select desktop. I have already to this Avengers. So just press yes and see it's export. Now select this the depth map. Make sure this layer should on backside. Now file, export, export as and the same thing happened for this thing also, PNG, export all. Now the main major part, the naming. Now see this one name is Avengers. So the next depth map should be like underscore D-E-P-T-H depth. So this is the major part. If your naming is wrong, you can't get your proper output. Now press save and press yes because I already have that. So replace this. So now it's done to upload that in Facebook. So let's jump to Facebook to see how it will look like. So now we're in my Facebook account and you can see here is the upload option. Just select photos and videos and over there you can select their two photos like double select those like this and press open. So now it will take some time. Let's zoom it for better view. Now see those two photos are automatically generated. So now you can see what happened. The Facebook is completely doing their own task automatically. So it will make the three creating a 3D photo for you. So now you can see your complete output is ready. So you can move your mouse like this and you can see your 3D output is completely done. So now it's all set to go. So hope you really enjoyed this short and little tutorial inside of Photoshop and if you really love this then don't forget to tell me that what your feedbacks are and if you have any question please do comments down below and yes my Photoshop PSD file I will upload that in my drive link link is in a description go and download and start working okay now the special announcement is 26th of April Avengers Endgame will be releasing on your nearest theater so just go and watch that full movie and I will upload a special VFX review from the movie Avengers Endgame and this will be available only on my channel VFX World so if you are still not subscribed do subscribe and press the bell icon because whenever I will upload that video you just got notification like this so still then have fun stay healthy and please do comments that how you love my videos and all so have fun stay healthy bye bye and I will see you in my 
नेक्स्ट वीडियो